Sizzle City Kid and as always I'm back at it again with another video and today I'm going to be showing you all how I roast my Brussels sprouts and my broccoli okay 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 so I'm definitely back for my second video of the day um you know people have been asking I have been like okay I will try my best I'll try my best to record more videos of me doing my food prep. So, for me, I don't necessarily wash it first. I'm gonna just go ahead and cut it. Actually, I am gonna wash it because these broccoli chunks are gonna be too dang on big. I think I'm gonna just do them one at a time because I don't like having so much broccoli spread out across my pan. And plus, I want this to last a little bit longer. So, yeah. Um, I got like a pound and a half of Brussels sprouts from Randazzles. Y'all, I keep telling you about Randazzles. If you have a farmer's market, if you have a produce shop, literally, your Brussels sprouts are gonna only cost you maybe $1.25 a pound. So, I think this cost me maybe like $1.50 all together um i don't really know how much i'm going to do and for me i like to cut these in half so these are nice size chunks it's literally like the size of a piece of bubble gum usually like they're a lot bigger it really depends on um you know sometimes where you get them from or what have you but i Probably I'm going to use like a handful, so like this much, y'all can see. And this should pretty much last me the whole week, I want to say. And then this next section I'll probably cut up for the weekend. It's only Tuesday, y'all. That's the crazy part. So I'm going to rinse these off. This is what I'm working with right now, as y'all can see. Nothing too crazy, BRB. So I'm gonna be putting what I cut up into like this small little plastic container. Um, this is relatively easy, y'all. Like I promise you, the prep for this might take you eight minutes or so, depending on how much you're cutting up. Like broccoli takes all of three seconds. It's just the Brussels sprouts. It takes a minute to cut and then unleaf these. Um, but I'm gonna be showing you all of that, so I'm gonna shut up and get right into it. Okay, y'all, so as you see, I've already cut up, cut up my, uh, ooh, I was about to say asparagus, cut up my greens, my broccoli and my Brussels sprouts. Um, I want to say it maybe took me eight minutes, probably seven minutes or six minutes to actually cut up the Brussels sprouts. That part is definitely a little bit more time consuming because you're literally cutting it and then taking off these like little pieces of leaves. Anyway, that's why sometimes it's nicer to have bigger pieces of Brussels sprouts because it saves the time that you actually have to cut and prepare. But next, I'm gonna be taking my parchment paper. Y'all, I literally love using this instead of foil because it keeps my vegetables from actually getting burnt. Um, and it just allows them to actually get crispy instead of when I pull them out, like not only is the foil hot, but my vegetables are damn near burnt. I wish I could show y'all like a before and after or a comparison of the two, but just know that parchment paper is the way to go when you're cooking 
or when you're roasting vegetables. Alright, so all you're gonna do is spread them across. This actually isn't that many, like I thought it was going to be. I'm gonna put some salt and pepper on it. I think this is from Target. I don't even know where my mom got this from. Okay, and I'm just gonna lightly salt this. Ooh. And then because you don't want your vegetables to get burnt in the oven, you want them to have like a nice crispy finish, I'm gonna be using olive oil. Last time I put way too much on, so hopefully I do this properly. Actually, I'm gonna try to use the lid. It's a lot easier, y'all. So it's a lot easier to um, to oil these properly when you actually put them in a bag because you can control the amount of oil that you're using and then you can shake it up so that it's evenly distributed across the vegetables. But for the sake of time, I'm just <laughs> trying to shake them up. So, so this is how it looks. Let's get up close and personal. Oh. Alright, so now all you're gonna do is preheat your oven to about 420, 425, and you're gonna put these in the oven for roughly 20 to 25 minutes. It depends on your oven. I like to eyeball it once it hits 20 minutes. Um, you can kind of tell like once it gets that like crispy finish, that's how you know when it's ready to go. So you can either, you know, taste it or try it and taste it, or you can just observe it and see what you're working with. But for me, like I said, I put it in at 420 for about 20 to 25 minutes. And then I just go from there. So I will get back to you all when this is out the oven and show you all what it's looking like. Okay. So like I said, literally to roast broccoli and Brussels sprouts it takes all of eight or nine minutes to prepare 25 well 22 let's say 20 minutes to cook so in total this takes 30 minutes so if you are looking for a side to do while you're cooking your food this is the perfect thing to get started with because it's going to take the duration of your your prep or your cook or your whatever your cook time um super easy super simple like as y'all saw i only did it a couple steps just threw it in the oven um so just be patient with this one um, and for me i don't really focus on the whole vegetable being like that roasted burnt looking tone but let's give it a try mm -hmm. so like i said <coughs> One thing that I'm probably going to start doing differently is when I'm preparing it, I need to put these in a bag to make sure that it's fully seasoned because you don't always necessarily get top, bottom, left, and right when you just throw it out onto your pan and season it that way. Um, so if you want and you feel like it's not seasoned enough, you can always go back and season it after you've taken it out the oven. For me personally, since I can't put too much seasoning on my food anymore, um, that's not something that I'm going to focus on. I just like the flavor of it and like this piece here. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah, y'all. So that is literally how I roast my broccoli and Brussels sprouts literally you do the same thing for carrots for any other type of vegetable that you want to roast sweet potatoes zucchini um i think the time might be a little bit different which you can always google but like i said this is how i roast my broccoli and brussels sprouts and the combination of these two put together is literally my favorite um yeah so you can always use whatever seasoning you want you could do like a garlic herb seasoning or you could do um 
strictly salt and pepper like I did it's up to you but I hope that this video was helpful and as always if there's anything healthy that y'all want me to um, prepare or just continue showing you all what I'm eating you know let me know but until then I will see y'all later hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see y'all soon sizzle